Hello everyone, I'm back with a new topic known as the composition cleaning and care of various surfaces. The various types of surfaces used in the hotel industry are metal, wood, plastic, ceramic, glass and rubber. The metals such as aluminium, brass, copper, pewter, gold, silver, steel, stainless steel, tin, iron, bronze, electroplated nickel silver or the EPNS, chromium etc. The wood, for example solid, plywood, chipboard, hardboard, blackboard, laminated sheets, cork, cane, wicker, bamboo etc. In plastic we use thermosetting and thermoplastics. In ceramics we use earthenware, stoneware, vitreous china, porcelains, bone china and brick. In terms of glass, we use lead crystal, soda lime, borosilic borosilicate glass fibers and in rubber, we'll use the vulcanized rubber. The wide range of uh, the wide ranges are found creates many problems for the housekeeping as each requires different cleaning procedures. Measures are taken to standardize them in some way by applying the protective coating or finishes. These maintenance can become very costly at time consuming. Hard surfaces will scratch, crack, chip, perish, splinter, blister and may become the dangerously slippery as well. The reason for choosing the hard surfaces is the hygienic factor, insulation, aesthetic appeal and easy for the daily maintenance. Now let's talk about the various care and cleaning methods used for the for protecting the metal surface. We have first the painting. It is usually applied to steel or wrought iron which is used for decorative purpose. The paint prevents the metal from coming in contact with oxygen and moisture which causes it to rust. Then we have enameling. This method gives a colorful gloss or matte finish to steel or the cast iron pans, signboards, blackboards, etc. The molten glass is applied to the surface which sets to form a tough, easily cleanable surface. Then we can use the plastic coating for the PVC. Acrylic and polyester plastic can be used to cover the handrails, table and chairs, legs, broom handles, etc. Electroplating It is used to deposit the metals such as chromium, copper, zinc, tin, silver and gold on the surface as nickel, brass, steel and copper. This finish is widely used for cutleries, restaurant equipments, furnitures and fitting. In terms of the galvanizing or in the process of galvanizing, the base metal is coated with the layer of zinc to reduce the corrosion and is extensively used for the mop buckets, dust bins, pot sinks, etc. In anodizing, it is an electrochemical process which enhances the appearance of aluminium and increases its resistance to soiling and corrosion. It is used for door and window fittings, etc. Lecuring this is usually applied items such as cheese graters, sieves, wire whisk and chopper and copper pans etc. may be coated with or dipped into the molten tin as tin has a good corrosion resistance. So, silver This is a relatively soft metal found naturally in the earth. It is a white metal unaffected by water, pure air and majority of foodstuffs. It is worn away by abrasion. Sterling silver is an alloy containing 92.5% silver and the remainder substantially copper which is added to harden the silver and yet not change any properties of the metal. Sterling is obviously more expensive than silver plate and is seldom used in hotels and other establishments. The silver plated wares are made from blanks and bodies of a nickel, silver and brass alloy. They are 
emerged in a complex solution of silver salts and by means of electrolysis the silver is transferred to the blanks these articles are also called tns or electroplated nickel silver article the tarnishing of silver is due to the action of compound of sulfur present in the atmosphere and in certain food stuff such as eggs onions juices pickles etc the tarnish is silver sulfide and varies in color from yellow to brown to black to blue tarnish can be removed by the silver dips the articles are dipped in a acidic solution of theracia compound and then washed and dried no friction is needed this liquid attacks stainless steel and should be used only in a glass earthenware or plastic container if you talk about the polywood method the silver articles are immersed in as a hot soda solution containing a sheet of aluminum for 10 minutes during this period a chemical exchange takes place the article are then removed washed and dried well the silver after being cleaned by these methods should be polished to restore its shine by any of the following methods first is the proprietary preparation it is based on the precipitated whitening and jewelers row example the silver a burnishing machine highly polished steel balls rubs against silver article immersed in a detergent solution the machine rotates and friction is applied on the article by the steel balls after this the article is washed and dried silver can be used as into cutleries restaurant wares ornaments vases bowls etc copper it can be used in solid form or plate applied on mid steel acids corrode it its tarnishing is a result of oxidation in a moist atmosphere to form the green verdigris abrasives will scratch or wear away the surfaces these are used in the table tops wall panels surfaces utensils decorative furnitures ornaments etc in terms of the pro- protective coating we can use the lacquering a long term polish lacquering can be removed with the acetone if necessary to maintain the copper clean with a paste made of equal quantities of vinegar salt and flour polish with the proprietary polish that is the brasso if you talk about the brass it is an alloy of copper and zinc it may be solid or plate applied on mid steel corroded by acids tarnishing occurs as a result of oxidation in a moist atmosphere to form green verdigris application of abrasive will scratch away any away surfaces composition is 60 to 80% copper and 40 to 20% zinc these are used in furnitures door and window fittings foot rails taps objects decorative finishes ornaments etc in terms of the productive coating lacquering long term and long term polish can be done in terms of maintenance the tarnishing can be avoided by lacquering lacquered art- items can be maintained by buffing with fennel for a shine to develop unlacquered articles can be polished with a brass polish that is brasso or a mixture of equal quantity of tamarind and salt corroded brass should be treated with spirits of salts and then rinsed thoroughly in very bad cases soak for 12 hours in washing soda solution approx 50 grams and then rinse and polish in terms of steel steel is iron containing little carbon and small quantities of other materials like nickel chromium vanadium manganese etc used as pressed steel for bath sinks etc steel's maintenance to prevent the corrosion it is often coated with enamel stainless steel it is an alloy of iron chromium and nickel chromium is added to make it resistant to corrosion acid and alkali it is tough durable metal and usually has a mirror polish or a satin finish it can be hardened by silver dip solution chlorine 
type bleaches salt vinegar mixture these act on the surface and cause discoloration the black deposits occurs if left in contact with moist aluminum or galvanized surfaces due to deposition of zinc by electrochemical action stainless steel needs only simple washing and drying it has 18 oblique eight steel contains 18% chromium and 8% nickel with the rest iron chromium contain vary between 8 to 25% these can be used in sinks water closets cutleries wall tiles or panels work surfaces kitchenware bowls furniture decorative finishes etc anodized aluminum a protective layer of aluminum is deposited on the surface during manufacturing if abrasives are used the protective layer is removed and white powdery spots will appear aluminum it is resistant to corrosion on the surface it forms a layer of aluminum oxide which resists attacks it can be damaged by strong alkali stained by acids and scratches easily they can be used in utensils light fittings vanity and blinds window door frames and fittings furniture decorative finishes anodizing can be used as a protective coating for maintenance use hot synthetic detergent solution do not use soda or bleach use abrasives with care remove discoloration in saucepans by boiling a solution of water and lemon rind in it or add 15 ml laundry borax to 500 ml washing solution to maintain gloss on show pieces applied liquid wax polish chromium used in thin layer of plate on mild steel or brass surface oxidation can result in formation of white spots reacts with alkalis causing surface discoloration abrasives will wear away plate these can become water spotted and greasy but will not tarnish for maintenance washing and rubbing is this is sufficient to keep up the chromium articles shine pewter it is an alloy of tin copper and antimony tarnishes easily and has little resistance to alkalis acids and abrasives these can be used in ornaments and tableware the protective coating can be used as the lacquering process maintenance wash in warm synthetic detergent solution and rub well when drying remove grease with methylated spirits before washing polish with a proprietary metal polish bronze an alloy of tin and copper with properties similar to brass uses same as brass protective coating lacquering gold can be used in solid form or as a plate or leaf it is resistant to acid alkalis and tarnishing it corrodes if exposed to mercury uses ornaments and decorative finishes tents used as a layer of plate on mild steel brass or copper it has good resistance to acids and alkalis uses the food containers zinc it is also used as a coating on steel and is commonly known as galvanized steel uses in buckets furniture and dustbins thank you